I thank you, Captain. First of all, my plan will work for you, saith the Lord. As long as your plan is in my hand, talking to y'all corporately there, some of y'all are missing it because you're not writing it down. And I will soon execute my property in life. For judgment, no doubt, saith the Lord, have been released and shall be released. Mankind is not seeing it. Have you noticed also that this is the year of the cicadas, the locusts? Every 7 to 14 years, 20 years, whatever, they come back. The locusts, the cicadas, on their wings they have a W. And the W represents war. So when you see your locusts, your cicadas this year, make sure that you try to gather some of them out of your field and from off your houses and your trees and out of your yard. What are you going to do with them, Prophet Johnson? Go fishing with them. The fish love them. Just like the plagues of Egypt. Pharaoh wouldn't listen. The church will not. What, what church? What church? Great and swelling words. Well, now, Prophet Johnson, now, you ain't the only one that's right out here now. I'm not trying to be right. I'm just trying to be correct. When he comes. I'm trying to give warning. I'm like. Who was that? Um, Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah was held on wheels. Like he was wasting his time. Lost emotions. Out there pleading in the street, pleading in the city. That's why God got us on Living Strong. 200 plus and counting. That's why he got us there. We're we after the nations of the world. Somebody's going to hear this. I'm after that, that one down. I'm, I'm after Tim Buckta down off in the jungle somewhere wearing a zebra uh, a striped bikini or something. I'm after that fella. I'm not worried about the big weird Christian with the hat on that's big enough to save a baby uh, if the boat sink and she'll drown or the woman will drown, all the Christians will be floating around, but the baby will live because the big woman with the hat on, they can put the baby in the hat, only the babies will be alive floating in the, in the, in the church women hats down the road, you know, 50 women in white. Doesn't matter. What we are, what we shall become. We're all correct. We all know it all. We're all doctrinal scientists. We're all uh, sarcastic. We're all facetious. You know, just a little bit rambunctious. We be Christians. Don't forget, we got favor with God. We are America, the greatest country in the world. Oh boy, here we go again. The greatest nation on the face of this earth. Lord, please help me. But here's the deal. What did we tell you? How was America destruction was going to begin? From where? From the inside out. Now I'm going to show you some old dirty old stuff today. So let's get ready for our dirty theology of Christianity. All right? Well, Prophet Johnson, yeah, we're going to look at some of this dirty stuff, all right? But why don't we pick up where we left off last night where I got happy before we get to old, old dirty Christianity stuff here. 
But Prophet John said, yeah, that's right, I be saying it, don't I? Don't I say it? Yes, I do. I know I say it. That's why I say it, because you say he be saying it. It don't matter. Y'all, boy, please. Here it is. Psalms 32, where we left off last night. Now, this is your little peach cobbler right here. So enjoy your little dessert, okay? I, I will, verse number eight, we're going to pick up. I will instruct, one of my favorites, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. Talk about lost emotions, mixed emotion, broken emotions. Which thou shalt go, I will, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. Now, see, our prayer has got to become this. <coughs> you, let me see if I can show you all this. Once you read the scripture, then you've got to learn to pray the scripture. When God said, I will teach thee and instruct thee in the way which thou shalt go, then you've got to pray, Father, I want you and I pray according to your word that you will teach me and instruct me in the way which I shall go. You said that you will guide me with thine eye. You said that you would hold up my path in my going, that my footsteps slip not. Father, you said in your word, that I am the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, blessed, called out, sought out, chosen of God. You said, Father, that you would never leave me nor forsake me. And you said that you will answer me in a time of trouble. Father, you said that you are very present help in a time of need and in a time of trouble. You are a deliverer. Now what I'm going through is something in my body, Lord. Lord, I'm going through something with my finances. Father, I'm going through something with my children. According to your word, Father, this is what I'm going through in my personal life and what I desire in, worse, in, in relationship. Once again, I'm preparing myself for you and what you have for me in the future. You see. Love takes preparation. Love takes time. For God so loved the world that he prepared a lamb before the foundation of the earth. Then that lamb walked through 42 generations and became flesh and dwelt among us. Healing takes time. Deliverance takes time. Right now. And you said, Prophet Johnson, you didn't go back and pick up Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm saving that till the last stage. I didn't want to go back over that no more. I really didn't because it vexed me out so bad. It really did. Now, things in life take time. And whatever you're going through, it may take a little time. But you must remember that Father is with you all the way. People, if there was ever a time to get our hearts and our minds right with God, old folks say, get right with God and do it now. Oh, get right with God. Oh, he will show you how. <laughs> I wish I could say it all. We're, something's missing, y'all. Let's read. Because if I don't, then I'm never going to do nothing. Y'all know that. I ramble off, but I don't want to ramble off. But we're living in a time of Sodom and Gomorrah getting ready to go on steroids. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Sodom was hid for a while. Gomorrah was here till tomorrow. But what's coming out is going to blow y'all mind. What's going to be open in society and in the public is going to be shift and shift shaping like never before. It's going to be a sh shift shape like never before. Changes, great changes. God rained down fire. 
But that wasn't enough, though, because that don't scare people. Now, it's bad when it gets to a point to where you wonder, who is it that is straight? Who, who's not having an alternative lifestyle? Who's not going after whatever? You, you can't look at TV no more. You wonder, is there any brothers on there straight now? Or do all the brothers that go to these reporting school or commentary school or whatever school that they go to to become those big reporters out there, Whatever that name is, I can't think of what y'all know you call them. I'll think of it a little later on. Somebody tell me where it is later. But are they, are they all like that? I, I wonder. Do you, do you have to live an alternative life to do that job? Shouldn't be that way. It's against procreation. You might keep saying, Prophet Johnson, what? Because, I'm, because I know, folks, something is going on. We're living in some turbulent times right now. Something is going on, folks. I'm, I'm a prophet, and I don't even know. Well, a whole lot I didn't know. There's a whole lot I didn't know anyway. The dumbest, the dumbest prophet there was, boy. Smartest, dumbest mug it was. But it don't matter about that. It don't matter about that no more because every time I think about it, when I look back, I think about it, I didn't realize. And I tell y'all this all time on Living Strong. And people... People will really get upset with me, and people don't like it when I tell them this level of truth because the level of truth is too deep. And I feel like it shakes God sometimes. But if you ever wanted to know, all of you out there, if you ever wanted to know what a fool looked at like, no, you don't go call nobody else a fool. I'm telling you what a fool looked at like or what a fool was like. If you ever want to know what a fool look like or what a fool is like or what a fool was like, all you got to do is look at livingstrongtv.com and listen to a man by the name of Prophet Scotty Lee Johnson from Oxford, Mississippi, and when you see him, say to yourself, that man that I'm looking at right now that's talking to us and helping us was one of the biggest fools if not the greatest fool that ever walked the face of this earth before God. You can tell anybody that. It won't bother me because it's the truth. Prophet Johnson, that's true, yes. Why was you such a fool? The reason why I was such a fool was because I believed that the people that I loved, the people that I cared about, cared about me and loved me and loved God like I loved God. I trusted every single in-law and outlaw, their heart, their mind, their problem, their situation, even down to the point to where none of them in none of the families ever suffered from anything, bills, house, note, job, car, children. Why? Because they had a family fool to pay for everything. You, yes, yes, see, hard to believe, isn't it? That's hard to believe. Well, I wouldn't call you a fool. I just, no, see, I loved God while the enemy was using the love that I have for God in a sinful, sin-sick, undermining, conniving, hypocritical way to take advantage through jealousy of God's anointed. You see, they hate me because they can't be me. So when you look and you realize that the man telling you this is being honest and straight up because he's a truth teller. And when the old boy tell you that he learned his lesson from the bottom of the bow, from the pits of hell itself, 
through the spirit of heifers and bastards that didn't care nothing about God, his will, but only cared about themselves and their families, then you're going to realize, boy, ain't numb no more. See, when God put the scales off your eyes, see, the witch can keep you blind. The warlock can keep you blind. But when God takes the scales off, that's when you're going to see. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way. Whose ways did we follow? We didn't follow God's way. I didn't. I followed man's way. Didn't follow my heart desire. I followed man's word and choices in heart for me. Even with all the knowledge, even with all the prophesying, even with all the ministry, didn't know that I was feeding a congregation full of nothing but demons and devils whose primary focus was to destroy everything in my life. And did. And did it. You see. So when it comes to Sodom and Gomorrah, America, you are the modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. It hurts. Let me say it straight because I'm on it now. Captain, I might as well say it. I'll get to the other part. It hurts to see two beautiful women on TV kissing each other in the mouth. It hurts to see two handsome men built up in shape to be kissing each other in the mouth. That hurts, y'all. I feel the pain. I feel the pain. You see. And what are they doing? What are they fighting for? Equal rights. I'm not against none of that. They can go marry who they want to marry, be who they want to be with. My job is to warn you, to let you know. We're in Sodom and Gomorrah. We're on a volcano. America is on a volcano right now that's about to erupt and don't even know it. If God shake this nation to hell and back, you will see a lot of hypocrite and Christians still calling in to programs lying. You will see a lot of hypocrite and false prophets talking about everything is going to be all right. We're under judgment. And I myself personally, I must say that I hope it get better. I can't say whether or not I see it getting better. But to be honest with you, tell you the truth, I could care less whether it get better or not. The word has already come forth. Utopia, age of Aquarius, the blessing of the Lord. The fields white to harvest already. It's coming back up again. And this time, it's going to be knocking on your door. Be ready. He's coming. Something is going on. Something ain't right. I don't know where those big apostles and where those big prophets said out there. But brothers, if y'all got the word, send it to me. If y'all done tapped into something in the atmosphere, because God is quiet. Now God's sneaking, on, God's sneaking on something. He's sneaking on something. Anytime God shut up, <coughs> shut up the vision of the prophet, don't show him but a little bit of baby stuff. I'm like, God, why are you showing me all this cartoon now? Why are you hiding all the big Hercules and, and the big Sinbads from me? Where are the Supermans and Wonder Woman's story? Where are all that at now? Incredible Huxuses. Huh? Where Captain America at? The Avengers. I've never even seen none of the movies. I'm just calling them out. But I've seen Wonder Woman. Uh, yeah, it wasn't too good. I don't, I don't think Wonder Woman should have a boyfriend in the movie. That kills the whole movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it don't make no sense. But uh, they got to do something about that. Set her up like Superman with Lois Lane or something. But God, just don't. You know, keep Wonder Woman pure at least. You know, don't. 
Don't let all of them get messed up by no men in the movie. My Lord, men mess up a good movie with a woman. You know, cat woman too, bat woman too. Got to, always got to be a man on the scene. But something is happening, okay? Captain, why would we look at this in the rest of the time we got left? So we can go, I thought you was going to say some old down and dirty old good old Christianity, Prophet Johnson. Here it come. I told y'all, we're going to get to a little of it. May not get to all of it, we're going to get to some of it, but I'm going to read real fast to show you how dirty this, this old devil is. And this joke we're going to use, boy, he using these Christians too. He using these big Christians here. The great mystery. Let's go to uh, Revelation chapter number 17. If I get hot in heaven, I get hot in heaven. If I don't, I don't. Here it is. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vows and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore. There it is. Didn't I tell you? Great whore. She can toe down with them saints that sit it up on many waters. Many waters. The nation that sit it up on many waters. What nation sit up on many waters? America. Here it is. Whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. This is a bad girl, this mystery Babylon. Cap, I, I don't know how, but let that time roll. I've, I've seen this girl. I've seen this girl. I've met this girl. I've seen this girl. And uh, she is something. What you talk about bad. I saw her in a vision uh, before the Iraq war broke out. The king of Babylon, mystery Babylon, I saw the whole nine yards, the chariots of horses. I saw the angels coming out of the sky, the medieval dress wear, the boots, the helmet, the sword, the whole nine yards. Every last one of them, six, six to seven feet tall, strapping their horses, pulling them babies' belts, getting them ready, Trojan horses that came out of the sky from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. As the tumbleweed came across, I was able to see towards the ends of the world at the, at, as the abyss opened up. Uh, up in the bottomless pit and forth came darkness of the smoke from it as the light came forth the blood of Jesus came down with the cloud of fire met the met the um, the bottomless pit and, and that which was coming from the end of the earth and out as they met together the chariots of horses started rolling out with the men ready and there she come Mr. Babylon decked up in purple boy that's a bad sister Woo -hoo! Brother, you don't want to meet her. She looked so good, I didn't know whether to bow or to salute. She bad, boy. Got that fingernail polish. She got that purple robe and scarlet on. I saw this girl. She got that dark, silvery, Golden black hair, the best way for me to call it. It's, it's, it's black, it not cold black, it's between. She got that stuff just yes, down there. And, and she got a little, uh, little whiteness that comes and slides out in that little, that little uh, white thing that go across there, that robe wraps around there. And, and you, you talking about the makeup, my God, the makeup. That's why I got to get the book ready. I got to get Secrets of the Prophets, Volume 1, started for you. The makeup of this woman, Maybelline and Max, Max Farrer, what, Maxwell, what the name of her mother, Max House, Max, whatever that other, May, Max Fact, <laughs> Maybelline and Factory Max, they, they don't have nothing on this woman, Max Fact, they don't have nothing on this woman, okay? This, this she is just bad. Women, the lipstick that y'all got, that little red, cooled it up, smearing off lipstick that y'all got, that, her, her lipstick is like blood. That's part of her lip. Her eyes are prosopaton. You, Prophet Jones, you got all them details? That's only part of it. I'm not giving y'all the whole story. This girl is bad. She's a woman. She bad. I seen her. <laughs> oh, don't ever want to see her again. If I meet her on earth while I'm alive right now, I ain't got but one thing to say. Take me to the altar, I mean the water, to be baptized, to get married. Me and you will marry her as soon as you've seen her. Yeah, that's right. You'll marry her right away. Every last one of y'all, even the most holiest man on earth, are going to marry her. 
I done seen her, so I don't want her. Y'all can have her. With whom the, she got all the kings of the earth. Now, I get in trouble if I say that. I can't reveal that. That's too much because that goes way up in the top of the government. And the Lord said, no, he don't want me to share that with y'all because y'all not ready for that. Goes in the top of the government is all I'm going to say. So he carried me away in the spirit, verse number three, into the wilderness. I saw a woman sit up on a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy. This is against God and against the church. Having seven heads and ten horns. These are the nations, the kings, the kingdoms. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. See, I didn't have to read that to explain. I saw this. <laughs> I saw the woman myself. This is true. <laughs> this is true. It, 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 we got your old tapes way back in old seed time and harvest collection. Y'all ought to see me when I was young, boy. When I was young and a good looking fella and had that long hair on my head, had that Jerry curl, fried, dyed, and laid to the side, slip and slide, I'm ready to ride. Woo, boy, y'all should have seen me back in them old days. I was getting down with a. <laughs> And I was singing that song. It had people shouting everywhere, laying hands and folk falling out. And people just being a blessing. Yo, my God. And right now, guess what? I'm five times better than I was then. Captain, we'll pick this up tomorrow night. Maybe we'll close out with a little Sodom and Gomorrah mixed with this, okay? I'm not going to finish this anyway. And the woman was arrayed. And purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stone. This is true. And pearls. Yes, yes. She, she, yep, she got them. Having a golden cup in her hand full of abomination and filthiness of her fornication. Let me tell you something. Her eyes are like a, her eyes will suck you in like a, I can't get my eyes like it. Her eyes will pull you in. Trust in me. Don't. Trust in me. I will kill you and eat you and send you straight to hell. Don't, 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 don't. Boy, she bad. Man, y'all ain't seen nothing. I done seen this woman. And upon her forehead was the name writ Mystery Babylon, because she is just that. Mystery of confusion, meaning confusion. Okay? That's what they is. Mystery of confusion. You can't figure out. The great mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. She is the mother of every hoish man, every hoish woman. Captain, I got to close. And I saw, I got two minutes, Captain, stop rushing me. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. See who blood she got drunk off of? She got drunk off my blood. We, we see, let me show you how it works. When she destroyed the anointed of God. Come on now, y'all stay with me. When she destroyed the man and woman of God. Captain, y'all better listen. She, she drinks their blood. She drinks their confusion. She drinks their hurt. She drinks their pain. She drinks their lost emotion. And she get drunk off of it. And she love whipping those people boobocky. She love tearing that donkey up. Let me just see if I can just speak it in plain English. And y'all forgive me. Give me. But she love whipping a man uh, donkey. They call it ass. Okay, here it goes. I'm closing, Captain. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs. Do you hear that? that, that those are those people that done got killed out there. What's his name? Dante or uh, George Floyd. Those are your martyrs. Breonna Taylor. Those are your martyrs. She's drunken with their blood. You see, those are martyrs. Oh, no, they're not. Yes, they are. They're martyrs in society. Do you understand? Stephon Clark, all of them. Uh, Siobhan Bell. I can't think of all these people's names. Uh, they don't kill too many. White people, y'all don't kill too many black people. We losing the names. Martyrs of Jesus. Do you hear me? Martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Do you see it there? And I'm not going to be able to finish this. But I wondered because she was drunken with the blood of the saints and of every nation and of every tongue. And all of these beasts begin to come up into a sin out of the bottomless pit. But in the end, they going down in perdition. And the 
woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. That's verse number 18. We're not going to be able to finish this up. But what is God trying to tell you is that lost emotion has got to come to a stopping point. You've got to gather yourself back together and not be drunken with the filth and the lucre of this world, but to become Hallelujah. One that will have a mind regulated by the Lord. My time is up. I feel rushing. I feel Captain rushing me in the spirit. And we got to get out of here. But I'm praying for y'all. And I'm praying for America. And I'm praying for the nation. That this lost emotion don't take us to hell. That the hardness of men's heart because of fear. And in the love last days, the love of many waxing cold. I'm here to let you know we are ready for a turnaround. And that's all there is to it. That's my time. Boy, I know Captain back there shouting now. And thank you for yours. My God. Lucy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut up, okay? I'll do what I'll do what I do it, Miss Lucy. Thank you. Ursula, Arby, Brunel, where are you? Star, oh, I ain't worried about you, Star. You just like Milan. I'm not worried about you. Uh, tell AK I don't want to see her. And, and all of the rest of them. But I'm going to let y'all know right now. Y'all get ready because we're going to get this baby back up and rolling. Burns, y'all been asking. We're going to get it back up and rolling. Brand new church, brand new house, brand new saints. And if y'all come up here drying up the service, I'm kicking y'all mugs right up out of here. That's my time. Thank you for yours. Repeat after me and say, Father, I'm a sinner. Forgive me for my sins. And I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All the promises are yours. God is saying y'all going to have a blessed week and a blessed weekend. I see God pouring out about three promises on y'all before this week is out. Get ready to shout. Get ready to praise. Get ready to worship because there's healing and there's power and deliverance and the best is yet to come. Remember, this is Lost Emotions. I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye.